Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Ron and Paula, who are here on behalf of MatePro. Well, hello, you two. How are you today? Good, thank good, you. Good. Glad to be here. How are you? Good, good. Now, we talked a little bit off camera before we came online. You know, with the challenges of COVID, I mean, most, like you mentioned, small businesses are having, you know, difficulties getting staff, which, you know, you're not immune to. I, I think we all are experiencing something like that. But, you know, you have basic principles that you guys follow, no matter what happens in, in, your, in your business. But before we get to that, tell me a little bit about what MadePro is. Well, MadePro is, we are a professional cleaning service. You know, we are part of a franchise. There are, I believe, about a little bit over 250 locations nationwide. Uh, Paul and I are husband and wife, and we own the South Orange County office. Um, so we do Laguna Woods Village, and we do the majority of South Orange County. Um, and, but we are, yeah, we're, we're a premier house cleaning company. How, how, how many people usually go out on a job? Paula structures that, and, and it really depends on it the depends, size of the house, right? It depends oh, okay. on the size of the home. Um, if, it's, if a job is more than five hours, it would be two, we call them pros here, uh, cleaners. If it's less than the five hours, it'll be one, one person coming to the home. Okay. All right. So, so it kind of varies depending on probably what is needed and, and like you said, the, the size of the location. So, yeah. all right, good. Now, one thing that you guys pride yourself on is an inspection checklist and uh, yours is very long. So we won't go through all of the items. However, maybe just highlight some things that you think are really important that everyone should take into consideration. Yeah. I mean, we could both chime in on this. I know it's going to be a little difficult to see, but yeah, it is very long, but it's a good thing that it's very long. So there's, it's 49 points on this, and this is our signature clean that our, our cleans are all wrapped around. So they go after this. Um, and this checklist pretty much guarantees that your home will be clean from top to bottom. Um, and it's 49 points. There's a lot, but there's some things that sometimes clients want something else added onto it. And if that's the case, you just let us know and we'll try to address it the best we can. Um, this is not always left behind, but our pros take it with them so they know exactly. But if the customer wants it left behind, we can definitely do so. Mm -hmm. um, is there any points on here you think that stand uh, out the most? Uh, I think our customers uh, that are not home typically love having this checklist because you know they want to know what happened while we were there. So that's the one when we leave it, we leave it there. Um, it's just a standard uh, checklist um, and anything that is requested, like that's not included, it's it's on there, it's on the list. So they can kind of see, oh, this wasn't done. Oh, it's because it's not part of the checklist kind of. Um, and they can request it at a later time or even call and we can add it on. And our cleans are, like I said, are all built tailored. around this. Yeah. And, and tailored. And, and again, it's broken down by kitchen, by bathrooms, by bedrooms, and then other living areas, including hallways. It's all, there's points under each one. Okay. That, you know, that's good because I think oftentimes we meet with an individual to clean our house or maybe do our yard. And, and you outline all these things at the beginning. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're months down the line, you're like, hmm, whatever happened to that? And what, how come they're not doing that anymore? Right. So that, that's really a good idea to have a checklist. And so then you can always reference it. So that, that's a really good idea. Uh, what are some, you know, top, I guess, I guess, Paula, what are some things that people are surprised by your services? Um, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I surprised like maybe, uh, maybe they were surprised like oh I didn't think you would do that or or I'm I'm so happy that you do this um hmm. well I know one thing that they're surprised that we don't don't do is we don't clean inside your fridge unless you request it okay. um we do the outside ex ex exterior appliances in the kitchen mm -hmm. um they are surprised when we clean the People usually have like a patio or, or something like that, glass sliding doors, and we clean the the little what's that called the railing part on the mm -hmm. bottom. Back. Yeah, yes, they're That's sort of like, wow, you do that. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> we try to. Yeah, because you know, I think oftentimes dirt gets caught in there, and you yes. just don't think about it. And so mm -hmm. that's awesome when you. I would be totally surprised if I opened the door and went, "Oh, look how clean that is." So that's a great one. That's a good one. I think now, the surprise is a. We even get our house cleaned um, when we have when we have extra staff to do it, and 
I think the surprises are the best thing. You kind of look around and you're like, oh, look at that. Like it's a, even if it's something just small, but it just, it's that little nice little surprise touch that just like you kind of light up for. Right, right, exactly. Now I know you have uh, many uh, clients in Laguna Woods Village and, and obviously the housing uh, styles vary from, from manor to manor. And, you know, are there, are there any particular uh, challenges that you guys have had uh, in the village, like some things that you go, wow, I didn't think it was going to be that, but then it worked out. Um, you know, I uh, a tough question. No, no. I, what, what was interesting is um, some of the residents in Laguna Woods are asking for laundry services, which we typically, we can, you know, do a load in while we're there but some of the, the laundry is off-site. So we're like, oh, okay, which we can do because it's like down, usually down the driveway, yeah. but we didn't encounter that. <laughs> we were thinking about that when we offered it. So other than that, yeah. But that, that's a good, that's a nice service because you know what, maybe you have a resident who isn't very mobile and right. they need your assistance. I think that's great. And like you said, everything's on the table. Uh, you just have to go over it with your estimate. And, and then if there's extra things, you could certainly add that to your list, right? Exactly. Yep. That's awesome. So estimates, how does somebody get an estimate? Um, super, super easy. Go for it. They can call our 949-699-6993 number, and they can either get uh, the cell center, which will do a really good um, thorough estimate, or they can call me, um, the local office. I know Laguna Wood, so I can kind of give them an idea, a better idea, I think sometimes. Or they can even email or call. I mean, you can reach us any, all those three ways or four ways. Now, yeah, no, yeah, no contract. So it's, a, you know, you get a free estimate. It's up to you. And if you want to book it for a one-time clean or a monthly or bi-weekly. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what's great. There's no contract required. And, and yeah, the estimate... I, I love the phone number because those are those are pros that that really know what you're looking for. And so they can really they'll they'll listen to you, they'll listen to anyone that what they have particular needs, and they'll be able to give you a very, a very good quote and estimate how long it'll take at the same time. So the estimate is over the phone. They don't have to physically come to the location. Most are done on the phone. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes we get clients that request someone to come out there to take a look at it, but we've been doing this for so long that we could have a pretty and we'll and and we'll adjust it too. If, if 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 the quote came in a little bit too high, and then we get there, and they come back and tell Paula, "Hey, it only took three hours instead of four hours," and then we and then we adjust the total price. Gotcha. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, you know, trying to run a service like this, like you mentioned, is you know it's difficult as a small business, but you are part of a larger uh, a family of of cleaning services. Do you find that that is helpful to you? Yeah, I, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll come at it from two different angles because I'm more on the on the marketing side and on the business development. Absolutely. Um, being part of a franchise is just, you're not alone because the problem, you know, sometimes when you're in a small business, it can get overwhelming and you feel like you're alone. And we have to consistent, although we've been doing this for years, we have to remind ourselves that we're not alone. It's like having an extended family with cousins all over the United States. You know, it's, there's, everyone has been through, with through the same issues you know so we all get together we have monthly calls with a marketing team we have weekly calls with offices that are around here in southern california and we all just share and brainstorm ideas i mean and we have annual conventions where we talk about cleaning products and different ways and and to clean things and you know um just ideas and it's just what's continuing improving the company which is amazing you know it's as much help as you need it's there um, and we're all just, every office just continues to push each other to be better and better. Okay. I think, I think that's, that's a nice way to look at it because, you know, you could hire a small company or just an individual and then who knows if something goes wrong, like then what, what kind of recourse do you have where at least you guys are part of a, a larger group where if there was something that happened that they would be able to have recourse. Um, also, when you talked about the cleaning products, you know, you, you probably learned about the latest and greatest, like you mentioned. Um, what kind of cleaning products do you guys use? And if somebody was, you know, allergic or had super sensitive skin, do you accommodate? Um, yes, we use uh, hospital grade um, disinfectant uh, cleaners. Uh, they're proper and gamble. 
Um, and uh, it, yes, if people call us and they have an allergy, we either, you know, buy buy something that will, they like or they provide. So oh, okay. accommodate anything. Um, we actually do have a lot of customers that have really bad allergies. And I mean, they don't even want us to go in with our shoes because just in case there's like um, dog hair or even our vacuum. So we leave all that out. We just go and make sure we have, you know, all our, our towels are freshly laundered every day. So everything is clean. So when we walk in, he doesn't have to, this, this customer worry that something's going to happen. So, yeah. Well, that's good. I always, I always like to have a special type of smell in my home. So I always like that carpet brush stuff, you know, so I'm not allergic to it, but nonetheless, at least when I walk in, I'm like, oh, I just love that smell. <laughs> yeah, so that's all. It always smells so clean. So that's great. All right. Well, I love it. Well, thank you both for meeting with me today. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Lisa, for having us on. And thank you to Laguna Woods Village. We, we appreciate all of you. So thank you so much. All right. And if you want more information about MadePro, you can always go to madepro.com. We'll be right back.